you City Skyliners, welcome to this second Halloween edition of City Skylines. In this one we are going to uh, turn off all the fire stations, see if we can set fire to the city and hopefully burn it all down. Last last episode, Halloween episode, was the flood, where well, we was going to do the fires but nothing really set fire so we started the flood instead. This time we'll just turn off the uh, fire stations and uh, we'll just see, we'll fast forward it and see what happens. Right, okay, so that's the fire stations turned off, there was four of them. And now you can see the fire risk is, is red everywhere. So we'll speed it all up and then we'll come back as soon as the fires start and we'll go from there. I've got the game paused. It didn't take too long for these first two fires to start, much quicker than in the last episode when we tried to start the fires. Just going to lower all the taxes as well. Hopefully keep people in the city a bit. I don't expect these first two fires to really spread much. I don't know if the fires would just keep spreading if you had no fire engines coming there at all. Let's speed it up a little and let's just see is this gonna let's speed it up a lot more let's just see if this is gonna burn down then or catch I know they do catch fire to the next building along everyone just going about their normal day at the theme park don't worry about the fire across the road is fine so I guess these are just gonna burn down the whole city will just burn down let's slow it down let's see if there's any other fires not yet. Speed up a bit more. Okay, so I guess they're just going to burn indefinitely in this game. Is that... Sure, I mean, that one's going black, so it's going to burn down. I know if you put the fire out, I think the building stays black for a while at least. Any other fires? Just this one raging. Uh, what is that? Oh yeah, another fire over here. This just this should catch. Pause it there a sec, because this one's gone black. Oh yeah, the building's burnt down. Yeah, let's just unpause it. So it doesn't doesn't continue to spread. It should continue to spread. This one hasn't spread at all, it's just going to burn down. We'll just leave it speeded up like that. Let the city keep burning itself down a bit. And then we'll go from there, we'll come back in a minute. Okay, so now we've turned off the police stations as well. So we're going to have some crime rate going on in the city. I forgot to put on infinite money. So I think that's going to affect me a bit. We're going to go into a bad negative. Bankruptcy alert. <laughs> Bailout. Yeah, we'll take a bailout. 50 grand bailout, we're just losing so much cash. It's the tax dollars. We have to put it back up just to keep our cash up. Put it up a bit. All the buildings turned off. All the land value getting worse. That was that building that was on fire. It somehow did not spread. Okay, okay, we've got some cash coming in now. Making a little bit of a profit. But this city is going to turn to a bit of shit. So, they haven't got good enough network access to trains and buses and stuff, they're saying. Why? I haven't done anything with the buses. So, as well as the bad land value, we've now got crime rate starting. Let's just take a picture of that for our thumbnail, so we can use that. Crime and punishment. There we go, another fire over here. I've also turned the prison off. So I'm hoping to see if the inmates are actually still in there at all. Uh, prison, no criminals in the prison. It's turned off, so I've just released all the prisoners. That's uh, a high crime city. This is uh, now gone into Vice City. It's going to shit, man. 28,000 people still living here. 17 sort of moved out this week. It was 11. So people are a little bit moving out. Oh, some people are moving in. Yeah, as people go, more are coming in. They're like, it can't be that bad. This city's got a great reputation. There's this crime. 
happening everywhere. All the criminals, uh, everyone's like, well, if there's no police, I'm going to just nip next door and nick their TV. Old, old Mrs. Rogers, 95-year-old Mrs. Rogers, still got her little black and white portable. I'm having that bad boy. Actually, might just go and nick someone else's 55-inch and give that to Mrs. Rogers. There you go, Mrs. Rogers. Everyone's moving out. They're not having people nick their TVs. They're like, nah, nah, I'm not having that. All the rich are moving out because all the poor people are just going in there, rampaging all their houses, stealing all their stuff, giving it out to everyone else. Like, Equal society, damn you. There will be no rich. But I went to college for, for 10 years. I, I earned that richness. Oh, this is this bad, man. Oh, my, my cash is going up. Look at that. Reduce the budget a little more, then. I want people to stay here as much as possible. If we keep, there's, there's a task. Can we keep making enough money from taxes and keep people coming to the city when it's in this condition? <laughs> Might lower the taxes a little more. We'll see the impact is coming down slightly. That green figure was 20 grand, 19, 18, 17. I need I only lowered, lowered the taxes a little bit. Is that it? Just then little percentages. 14, 15, it's going back up again. Auto save in progress. Is it balancing out at about 15? Yeah, 14. Okay, so I'm going to pause the recording here because we're at about eight minutes or so. Let's uh, see how bad this gets and I'll unpause it more towards the end before this all screws up. So we've got our money going as low as we possibly can, I think, around seven, seven grand a week. Lowered the residential taxes a little bit, so they like to move here and stay here, but we can't get a positive number of people coming in the city. It's about 500 a week we're losing. I think the only, only people that live here are criminals, pretty much. It's just criminals live here. It must be like a tax haven for criminals. There's, there's just no police. There's no fire service. People can just do what they want. So it's freedom, it's freedom city, this is called. As long as you're tough, you can you can make it in this place. So we're now losing just under a thousand people a week. So the city is gonna it's gonna slowly decline in numbers. Just under 22,000 people now they are really leaving. And that means the, the money we're getting is coming down two thousand dollars. I think there's actually a trophy you can get. If you have the crime rate, uh, what is it, the crime? Have crime rate of 40% for two years. Let's have a look at our crime rate. Crime, 64%. So we're on course for doing a trophy. So I'll carry on playing that and get the trophy. I'll show you it right at the end, I think. Hopefully if I get it. And I'll leave this episode there this week and unpause it in a minute when I get the trophy, hopefully. And I'll catch you guys next week. Uh, just to, I'm still going for that goal of 40% crime for two years. Because uh, there's loads of abandoned buildings, a quick way to get rid of all these abandoned buildings rather than deleting them one by one. If you go to like the, uh, on PlayStation, it's press square to go to the, the destruction, destruction area, destruction menu, destruction setting. If you hold triangle, it gives you different settings. Usually it's on default. Uh, but if you put it on abandoned buildings, you can just delete just the abandoned buildings. So I can, I can, you can scroll across like this and just delete just the abandons. Okay. Right, okay, yeah, I'm gonna skip that trophy for now. You have to stay on it with the police station, keep turning it on, keep turning it off. So the crime rate, because if it gets too high, everyone's leaving and you're losing cash. So you've got to balance it out with the police station. You got up to 66% crime rate and uh, I can turn the police station on for a while, turn it back off, but it takes a little while to readjust and get the crime to go back up. So you've got to play about with it and take some practice. But I'll, I'll get that one day. All right, I'll see you again, guys. Cheers. <laughs>